Good morning and welcome to uh, another virtual class with Sport and Wellbeing. My name is Matt Gregory and I'll be your instructor today for Stretch and Flex. Um, so the idea of today is it's Friday, it's going to be another gorgeous day. Um, for us that have had maybe a very busy week um, and we've been doing the virtual classes, I um, thought we'd just put in a nice Stretch and Flex class just to kind of relieve a little bit of tension um, and just stretch out those sore muscles so good morning and welcome um it's nice doing a little bit of a stretch in the morning just to really start your day and get yourself and your body prepared for a day of work so we're going to get going in a couple of minutes um so for this class all you will need is a hop as you can see is literally just a mat um if you want to have some water if you want to have um, a towel with you then you can do but literally all you're going to need is a mat and um, just somewhere nice and peaceful, somewhere nice and calm um, to do all the stretches. Uh, hopefully I've sorted out the music today. Um, got it on my tablet instead. Um, so we're gonna get going in a couple of minutes. So make sure you've got your mat, make sure you've got your nice surroundings. We've got a guest today with Max. Um, hopefully he'll stay where he is. Um, if not, I'll probably just have to put him outside um, at the front. Um, but yeah, guess today he's not going to join in, I'm afraid. Um, there's no doggy stretches <laughs> today. Um, but yeah, let's get ready to get going. I'm just going to put the music on and then we're going to get ready to stretch. So we're going to be starting standing and I'm going to work all our way down. Um, any of the stretches that you don't feel you can complete, don't worry about, uh, but just do your best. Uh, if you do have any mobility problems, uh, please just take it easy, take your time um, and don't push yourself too hard. Um, as always, put some comments in, put some likes in. And um, any questions or anything like that, I'll try and answer it at the end of the class. And yeah, let's get going. Okay. So, a bit of music on to start with. Hopefully that will play. Okay, so something a little bit chilled out. So, come to the back of your mat. Just from here. Now, hopefully, my head doesn't get caught up. Oh, cut out too much. Turn this up slowly. There we go. Okay, stand at the back of your mat. So we're going to start with the head and we're literally just going to relax. So, breathing nice and in. So. And down. Um, Taking a nice deep breath in, centering yourself, just relaxing. So. Deep breaths in. Now start to stretch that head, so gently turn to the side. Again, really focus on that breathing. In and out. So you'll be holding the stretch for a couple of seconds and gently move the head over to the side. Again, nice deep breaths in and breaths out. Okay, taking the head down to look towards our toes. So come from here, so we just stretch the back of the neck, we look down towards our toes, and gently, without over stretching, just look up towards that ceiling, stretching all down the front, very gentle with this stretch, and slowly head back to centre. Okay, start to work the shoulders. So what we're going to do is roll the shoulders up and back. As we bring to the back, we've got scapular retraction, which brings holds there, slowly lowers down to the bottom, and back to the start. So we squeeze those shoulders forward, up towards our ears. So we're looking to relieve all the tension in our shoulders, and slowly down. Okay, one more rotation backwards, so nice and slow. Take control time forward, up, back, and taking it on down. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to take one arm up and across the body. So pull in between the elbow and the wrist. Squeeze that in and just pull it in. So you feel the stretch in the shoulder. Come on in. So we're going to do the front and the side of the shoulder. We've got a little bit of rear delt going, rear shoulder stretch going here. Just putting that gently in. Take the arms, swap them over so you can see nice fluent movement. 
and again, pull between that wrist and that elbow, and just squeeze on in. Again, nice slow deep breathing, just relax. Taking those arms forward, we're just going to lift those fingers, chin goes down to the chest, we're going to separate those shoulder blades, that upper back stretch, just pushing up and forward. Taking the arms out to the side, so we open up that chest for a nice chest stretch. Hold the arms there. Squeeze in, bring the arms back into the middle. Head goes down, up back stretch. Press forward, a little bit more. So really try and separate those shoulder blades. Head raises up, arms come out. Nice wingspan. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and open up that chest. From here, bring the arms back into the middle, bend the arms up. So what we're going to do is from here, we're going to pull arms down and back. So the upper back stretch, stretch into those lats as well, pull them down. Gently raise up. So we go up, keep those arms slightly back. And bring down again. So our elbows come down, back and in. So you feel the upper back and those lats engage. And press up towards that seat. Okay, with the arms starting up, bring one arm down to the, your side or across your body towards your hip. We're literally just going to gently pull that arm towards that ear, stretch over. So lean over as far as you can, really stretching that arm up over by the ear. So we're stretching all our intercostal muscles and our side stretch. Come back, centre. We're going to go same side again. Gently relax into the stretch. And this time, really stretch those fingers up and away from you. So you see the body stays in line. And back, flow to the other side. Other arm comes up. And over to the other side. So really stretch over and stretch away. See how far you can stretch those fingertips over. Keep that arm by that ear. Back to centre. One more time, relax into the stretch. A little bit further stretch this time. See how far you can stretch those fingers over the top. And back into the middle. From this, we're going to swap our arms over again. And this time, we're going to take one foot behind the other, gently. And we're literally just going to lean over a little bit more. So we're going to stretch our IT band. So you can feel it go into the hip a little bit more. Stretch those things away and gently come back centre, step out. And one more time that side. Gentle step behind first, arm to the ear, stretching over the top. Really stretch those fingers out this time. Back in centre. As we step, arm comes down, we swap over. Arm to the ear, step behind with the foot first. Stretch. Arm to the ear. Fingers stretching as far over your ear as you can. Feel start stretching those hips, that IT band. Step back centre. Fluid movement, step behind. Reach those fingers forward a little bit more. Really stretch those fingers. See how far we can stretch. See how long we can make ourselves. And back to centre. Bring those both arms up to the side. We're going to go for a side lunge. So feet come slightly wider. We're going to push our knee this way and go to that side lunge. Try and keep those feet pointing forward if you can and just press down. Back stay straight. Arms come up. From here, we're going to twist. So our foot points forward, our toes on the floor. We're going to push our hip down a little bit more. Taking the back knee down onto the floor. We're going to come into a deep hip flexor stretch. So we're pushing our hip towards our front here. We're keeping the arms here. Adding a little bit of spinal rotation, bring the arms down to the side of the foot. And what we're going to do is we're going to twist towards the knee. Sorry, you've got my back. And we're literally just going to open up that chest. A little bit of spinal rotation, if you can. 
If you can't twist that far, don't worry about it. Try and make a nice long line between arms. Come back in. Back into that hip flexor stretch. One more time. Go down. Hands next to the foot. Spinal rotation. And just reach up to that ceiling. Again, just go as far as you can go. Hand comes back down. Chest raises up. From this position, gently push yourself back up into that front lunge, arms out. Push that hip down. So you feel it stretch here. Gently twist back into center. Hold that side lunge. Again, try and get those both those feet pointing forward, arms out. Gently back to the middle. Now we're going to go to the other side. So other side lunge, feet pointing forward, sink slowly into that side lunge. Hold it there. Twisting around to that front lunge, pushing that hip down a little bit more. So you feel it stretch the hip. Knee goes down to the floor. And we sink into that hip flexor stretch. Down into that spinal rotation. So hand goes down to the floor again. The other arm stretches up. We twist as best we can. Try and keep those arms in line if you can. Again, go just as far as you feel you're comfortable with. Hand comes back down. Gently rise up into that hip flexor stretch. Back on down. Gentle twist, spinal rotation. Back down to the middle, and gently up. Okay, from this we're going to go into a hamstring stretch. So all we're going to do is sink our bottom back onto our heel, our toe points to that ceiling as best we can, hands come down either side, and we lower our chest as far as we feel comfortable going. Remember to control that breathing, and come on down. Apologies if you can't see, now come to the back. A little bit more. So toe towards that ceiling, chest comes down. Gently raise up. And then slowly back again. So we relax into it. Chest goes down, we sink into it. That deep breath in. That breath out to relax. Pull that toe back towards you for a little bit of extra stretch. Okay, from here, from kneeling up, turn your front knee under and sink your bottom down. So you're going to come into a 90-90 stretch. So from here, we've got one leg, which comes out, and one leg at 90 degrees on the back. From here, what we should do is start by leaning forward and relaxing into that stretch. Raise the chest up. We're going to twist our knees over the top. Down, so our feet stay at 90-90. And gently lower that chest down towards that knee. Slowly come back up. Now again, rotate those hips so the knees come up and over the top. Back into that 90-90 stretch. This time, instead of putting the chest down, we're gonna reach that arm forward. So as we come down, we reach the arm forward we go a little bit deeper, and then we come back up. Change the knees over, mind up for a dog, and reach forward with that hand, and stretch on forward. Good. Whilst we're this side, we're going to go into that hamstring stretch, so kneeling up from here. And from there, we start on that hip flexor stretch, we sink our bottom down, we pull our toe back towards us, and we have that chest go down towards that knee. Relax into it, pull that toe back towards you. Slowly come up. And again, gently back. Into that hamstring stretch, toe back towards the ceiling. Chest relaxes down. 
and we come back up. From here, we're going to sink our bottom down, but twist our bottom around. I'm going to move the camera down a little bit. So we're going to go into what we call a tabletop stretch. So from here, if I move my dog away, from here we're going to start on our bottom, and our hands are going to go behind us, so I'm going to do it from the side. So from here, we're going to have our hands behind us, and all I want you to do is gently push your feet, push your shoulders, come out, Max, and we're going to push those hips up to that ceiling, head back as best you can. Now if you can't go all the way up, don't worry about it. Gently relax down onto bottom. Hug your knees, stretch that back out. Hands go back behind again. Push those hips up to that ceiling, squeeze that bottom, and push those hips up to that tabletop position. Head back if you need a little bit more stretch. Slowly lower. We're going to go one more time. So chest goes to knees. Hug in. And last one, this one, pushing up, squeezing that bottom. Okay, this time we're going to add an arm reach over. So into that hug position. So as we go into tabletop, if you want to, you can just do a tabletop. If you want to stretch a little bit more, bring the arm up and down. From here, we're going to stretch the other side up and over, really stretch your shoulders up, push those hips up, mind that for a dog sitting underneath you, Max move, good boy, <laughs> change arms again, mind that for a dog, stretch up and over, hello buddy, <laughs> and change sides one more time, reach up and over, and sinking on down, twist to the front, Watch the sat forward, feet come together into a butterfly stretch. So from here, feet join, bring your heels as close to your body as you can, and just make sure it's nice and comfortable. From here, I just want you to think about pushing your knees down to the side, stretching your back up, and again, just relaxing into the stretch. From here, we're going to lower our chest down so we get a little bit more of a deeper stretch. If you can, if not, stay the chest up and pull them in. Slowly raise back up. If you can, bring your heels in a little bit closer. Now the muscles have been stretched. Raise up, push those knees down to the ground. Go careful if you have any hip problems. Just relax into it. Gently lowering that head down if you can. I can't go that far. And up. Okay. From here, we're going to start with our legs out as far as we can. Now, a little bit of flexibility training. From here, we're going to start with our hands on top of our knees and we're going to be pointing our toes. It's like an old gymnastic stretch. From here, we're going to slide our hands down as far as we can, trying to keep our legs nice and straight, our toes pointed. Curvature of the spine and just reach down. If you want to put your hands to the side, you can. And the head comes down. Gently slide the hands back, chest raises up, and again, slowly reach forward as far as you can. See if you can go a little bit further this time. Try and bring that chest down towards those knees, and slowly raise back up. So stretching these hamstrings. This time, pull the toes back towards you. So stretch your hamstrings a little bit deeper and a little bit more. And exactly the same function. We're going to stretch those hands down as far as we can, keeping those toes pulling back up towards us. And slowly raising that chest back up. Big stretch, shoulders back. One more time, keeping those toes pulling towards those ceilings will make it a little bit more difficult. We raise down. Slowly come back up. From here, we're going to take one foot back. So open up the hips. Go that way. Good boy. This time, with a pointed toe, we're going to move that chest down with one leg in front. So we can go a little bit deeper from that hurdle stretch. Slowly raise back up. 
Taking the other foot forward, other knee back. So you can either have it at that 90 degrees if you want to, or you can pull your foot in if you can do it flexibility. Toe pointed, chest right goes down to the knee. Slowly back up from here, bring the other knee in. And we're going to go into mat. One second. One second. Good boy. Sorry, he did want to get involved in here. Okay, staying on those knees. From here, we're going to take it up into all fours. So, I'll do this from the side. So, hips go over the knees, shoulders go over the hands. And we're going to go into angry cat, stretching in. Down to happy cat, sticking the bottom out, raising the chest up, the head up. Really rotating through that spine. Gently raise back up. And one more time, into happy cat. Okay, from here, we're gonna push back on the floor. We're gonna sink our bottom towards our heels. Head goes between the shoulders, stretch down. Rotate back up onto all fours, pushing forward, hips pressed down into cobra, chest slightly raises, go as far as you can, gently rock back, bottom back towards your heels, pushing shoulders down, back up, if you, need, if you can't go that far don't worry about it, Hips pressed down, so we stretch that lower back. We also stretch the stump, tummy muscles. Okay, one more time. Hips push back, stretch those shoulders out, sit that bottom down to the heels, and come back up onto all fours. From here, we're going to rotate one hand through, so we push down. We sink that shoulder down to the floor. Gently rise up. Switch those hands over. Hand goes through. And just stretch that shoulder down to the floor. Back onto all fours. Sink that bottom down, raising that chest. Rotate those shoulders up and back. And finish. Well done. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's a very warm day. Uh, if you do have any comments or any questions, please throw some comments or questions on. Um, I hope you had a really good stretch and you're set up for the day. You're nice and relaxed and you feel like your body is ready to do um, anything. Um, be safe in the weather. Um, make sure you stay hydrated. It looks like it's going to be uh, not as warm as yesterday, uh, but it's still going to be very warm. So please, please stay hydrated. Uh, if you do have any questions, please stick them in the comments. Um, remember to log on to our Twitter account with and use the hashtag DoesYouGoodCoach before or after any fitness um, related questions that you've got for us. Uh, and remember to follow us on all platforms. Uh, take care. Have a fantastic day. And um, I will see you very soon. And tune in tonight for Michaela's Star Circuit. Uh, take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.